Yeah. You my right hand. You my go to. Hey guys, this is Sophie Showhead. Welcome back to another video where I'm gonna show you a load of luxury goodies that I picked up this week. And if you are interested in any of them, or maybe if you're not, I'm hoping that I can tempt your shopping taste buds and give you some inspiration. If you are new, welcome, please subscribe because I do videos three times a week, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and they're all like of a chatty sort of shoppy nature. So I have done a bit of shopping this month and it actually looks worse than it is. I'm gonna start with the first thing which is this. This is a Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is in the GM size, the biggest size. I actually picked this up pre-loved. This is my first ever piece that I've bought that has been secondhand. I got this on eBay. It was a trial, let me tell you. I've wanted this bag for a while, but I didn't necessarily want to. It's one of those bags. I would never use this bag as a handbag. I would never, I would use it for function as opposed to my actual handbag and the reason for that is don't want to offend anyone but to me this is this is like a basic bag i as i say i would use it for the gym and i use it for work or if i'm going to like i don't know if i'm going to be carrying like loads of groceries or something i would use it for that but i wouldn't go around the shops with this this was not the first one that i bid on and won the first one that i bid on and won i couldn't believe it actually the lady selling it was literally in the next village i mean i could have walked there she was that close and i just thought this is really handy i like win this bag it was the mm size i go over to her house to collect it and thank god she said to me at the time she was like oh do you want to see it before you take it because it was like in its box and i was like yeah why not let's have a look so i looked at it and the first thing i thought in hindsight, I think it was fake. I didn't think that initially, but what I thought about it was, it was too small to be the MM, too big to be the PM. And also, can you see this bag? Like, it does slightly go out on the edges, but it's kind of square. It's kind of like quite upright on the corners, kind of squarish. Her one was like way wide on the top and really narrow on the bottom. And when I saw it, because I want to carry my laptop around with me, I was like, my laptop's not going to fit in that. I don't even know what size that was. And also the other thing that made me think it was dodgy in hindsight is that she said that she'd been given it as a gift and she didn't have a receipt. As soon as someone says that, there's something weird going on with it. Because, first of all, you've got to be pretty close to the other person for them to buy you a designer handbag. And I would imagine they give you the receipt with it. Secondly, you get the receipt with it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like... You don't go and drop 700 pounds on someone and not give them the receipt. When it's something like this, it just, the story didn't add up. Um, but also, she was, like, if you actually thought the bag was real, would you not be like, uh, excuse me, it's real, you bid on it, you want it, you can take it, you can go now. She wasn't like that at all. In fact, when I mentioned her, I was like, oh, you know, I know, I know a, bit, a bit about these bags, I collect them. Suddenly she was like, oh, you can have your money back. She she was actually, she was like, she didn't want me to take the bag and she has not relisted it since. So I think that was dodgy, but I found this one on eBay. It turned up last week. I went into Harrods on the weekend and Louis Vuitton verified it for me. So I'm really pleased. She has actually used it, but there's no real marks on the inside. It's just like some the leather's kind of got a lot softer, but I don't really mind that. That's kind of cool. So that was the first thing that I got. I'm going to review that and I'm, I, I'm curious to know, like to me, the handles look quite delicate and I'm gonna, I carry a lot of stuff around with me for work and then for the gym. So I'm gonna really test how much that fits without it feeling like I'm gonna break it. So that was the first thing. Then I went into Harrods. Okay, there was a reason for this. See this box here. This contains a little handbag and it's the Alma BB. If you follow me on Snapchat, you will have seen because I kind of like took a picture of the moment that I got this. Cutest box ever. And it looks like this in its dust bag. Okay. This is it. How cute is that? Seriously, it's a really sweet little bag. A couple of things I want to talk about with this. First of all, the price. This was £675, which in the world of handbags, designer ones, I think that's a really good price. And if you are looking to start a collection or maybe just build on your collection, I a thousand percent 
recommend going for this bag because to be able to get that for six nearly 700 pounds i think that's a really good deal the other thing with this and the reason why i got it is at harrods they've got like a points card a bit like the boots advantage card and it really does add up i had 300 pounds as a cash reward that i had to spend by the end of may and i knew that i wanted to get this with it so i had 300 from harrods then the rest of the money came from stuff I sold on eBay. So this is like legit a bag that didn't cost me anything. Technically, you know what I mean? I haven't actually had to go into my bank account for this. Um, the reason why I didn't do an unboxing of this straight after I got it was because, let me show you, because of what's in here. There's an item on this bag that I was having hot stamped and I didn't want to show the bag until I got it all back together again. This is the item. Can you see that? I got it hot stamped with my initial on it in S. With this bag, you get one of these that has got like a key in it that you like loop around there. You also get a shoulder strap so that you can wear it crossbody. And inside you get a tiny little dust pouch thing. And you get, I've unwrapped it. It doesn't like literally float around the bag like this, but you get a little padlock. And it's got LV on one side, and then it's got Louis Vuitton Paris written on the other side. So you can actually zip this bag closed, or you can just wear the padlock on the bag or whatever. Um, yeah, so I, I was having that done, but that took, that took a week. And I had to go back in to collect it, and I decided that I was going to wait until I had it back to show you. But I have to give credit to a lady called Vanessa, because this lady called Vanessa, I'm going to link to her below. She follows this channel, but she's also got her own blog and it's amazing. I'm properly hooked on it. It's like a written blog, but her photos are amazing. Her style is amazing. She's got this bag and I have never seen, normally when people get things hot stamped, I see two initials or three. I've never actually seen one that's just got one on it. That's what she's got. She's just got like V written on it. And I saw it in one of her photos and I was like, oh my God, that looks so striking. So Vanessa, I totally got the idea off you. I hope you don't mind. And guys, definitely go and check her out. She's got an incredible blog if you want like inspiration. Also, while I was in Harrods, some of you may know, I went vegetarian a couple of weeks ago. I guess you could technically say I'm sort of pescatarian on off because I do have the odd like piece of salmon or prawns, but pretty much I'm vegetarian. And as part of that, I'm also looking at the makeup that I use. Guys, I'm gonna say it. I'm never ever buying Mac again from this point onwards. I'm gonna use up what I've got and in the meantime, I'm gonna find replacements from other companies. But I tried Charlotte Tilbury and I bought two of her lip pencils. They're lip pencils that so many people talk about. This is the lip cheat and I got Iconic Nude and Pillow Talk. Um, I like the formula, but I don't like the colors actually. I then They're pretty colors, but on me, I don't like them. When I wear like a nude lip, I prefer something that's got more of a hint of mauve in it. And these are maybe just a bit too brown. They kind of make me look a bit washed out. But I like the formula and I would definitely go back. And I'll probably do like a video in a couple of weeks actually on cruelty free makeup. This little guy, look at that. This was something that I got, this was actually on Etsy. You know, I'm obsessed with Etsy. It's faux leather and it's a little rabbit because you know I've got two rabbits. And it actually came, sat on like a pom pom, but I got them to make it without the, the fur bit. And it arrived the other day and I just think that that, okay, maybe not on that bag because it's maybe a bit big, but I think that looks quite like the MCN, N, M, um, kind of bag charms. And I, I liked the look of it. It looks really, really cute. So that's that. And then one final thing is in here. This is from Christian Louboutin. It is a, I'll show you is in here it, this is a, a little coin purse wallet it looks like this this is the first ever small leather good sort of thing that i've ever bought from christian louboutin and it looks like that how pretty is that okay and there's the back of it so the front's got like spikes on it and the back doesn't but on the inside it's kind of red as you can see there and it's got um, it's got two card sections either side and then in the middle is just like a loose area and that's exactly what I wanted When I was in Harrods, I went and had a look at Chanel because I either wanted um, a boy coin purse about that big But I wanted it to be patent or I wanted to get like a little pouch and they had neither they were like They were actually 
they took out the drawer of things I had left and they didn't really have much, they didn't have any more than like five items on the tray. And they were saying to me it's because the new collection comes in, the airline collection comes in on the 15th uh, of March and because of that they don't really have much stuff left. But I walked into Christian Louboutin and I saw this. There's a couple of things I want to talk about with it. First of all is the price. This was £185. When I saw that I was like, that is really good. For a, for a small item from a designer, that is a really good price. If you were to look at the same sized item from, let's say, Chanel, I know that they start at £300. In fact, I think the little coin purses that are about this big are about 320 350 So that's a really good priced item already. But also the quality is really good. And I think that Christian Louboutin small leather goods and bags could end up being investment pieces. Tell you for why, because at the moment they're, they've, when you look at the prices of them, the prices of a lot of the stuff are quite lo comparatively low compared to like Louis Vuitton or Chanel. And I think it's because people see the brand as being shoes, not bags as such yet. But I think that these are the kind of things that could end up being, being worth certainly holding their value in, in the future. And, I, and that's just like a perfect size. So I was thinking that that's the kind of thing I just want to be able to put that in there and it's like, doesn't take up too much space. So guys, if I've left you wanting more, come and join me in the next video. I'm going to link to it there and I will see you in five.